Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to subtitle your videos using the Clipflare platform. All files produced by the Clipflare platform have the extension .clipflare and can only be opened through the platform itself, not with any program in your computer. Also, the use of Firefox as a web browser is recommended because it works better with Clipflare. First, go to your web browser and find Clipflare, that is C-L-I-P-F-L-E. AIR. The first entry you will see in Google says clipflare.net and there is exactly where you should go. The platform has nine main sections and after exploring around a little bit, which is advisable, you should go to the gallery part, the orange icon. There you will see four extra sections. One of them says video gallery. If you go to the video gallery, there are videos in many languages, as this is an international platform focused on Europe, of course. And there is where you can select the language with which you will be working. As the name of this project is Sublight, if you write Sublight in the small browser that the Clipflare platform contains, you go directly to the six videos that you have to subtitle. One of them is an example, and that's the one that we're going to have a look at now. It's based on the musical Hercules by Disney, and this is a film from 1997. Then if you click on play, you can watch the video, but the materials will be available. Brothers! After that, you close, exit the page, and this time we go to the studio part the blue icon. From the studio you can open Clipflare extension files. You go to Open Activity, Orange, and then to Open Activity File, because you should have this in your desktop after downloading all the materials for this small project that you have been set. We open Hercules.clipflare and you will receive something similar with the rest of the videos. We wait until it's open and there we go. We play the first video, the Hercules sample. Brothers! This contains a video player, a subtitle, line editor, and some instructions that have been edited for clarity. Have a look at the instructions and you can scroll down as in any window. You are used to doing this with your web browser, for example. As I said, have a look and follow the instructions. Before you start working with this very flexible platform, you should be sure to get information related to how to produce correct subtitles and also how to introduce the specific conventions of SDH, or Subtitles for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Apart from that, using the video player in the platform is not really a challenge. You should play and pause and move backwards and forwards. Squalid prison! <laughs> Who put you down there? Take some practice. Let's have a look. Well, we have one button to add new subtitles, one to eliminate the lines, one to determine the start, another one to determine the end of the subtitle. We won't use this button because English is written from left to right. And finally, we have two more buttons to export our subtitle files in different formats, for example, SRT the universal file that you can also open with EGSub. First, we create one line at the beginning and listen to the associated content. As we have watched the whole video already, we know where the first intervention begins and ends. Then, we make the necessary adjustments with the timeline. The first part will be an SDH tag, Intriguing Music. That will be our description for the first part. For the SDH tags, we will employ parentheses and capital letters. Now that we have our first line ready with its beginning and its end, we continue playing the video. However, when we create the second line, we have to be sure that it doesn't overlap with the ending of the previous one. In this case, we'll set the time to 1.69 seconds. Brothers! After Hades pronounces his phrase, brothers, we put an end to the subtitle by closing it on its right side. Then, we edit the text field and write the phrase. We write brothers, exclamation point. Brothers! The end of the previous line will become the beginning of the next one, because the clip's really short and there are many things that we have to describe. Dialogue and also noise and other sounds. Titan! 
The subtitling process has started to become repetitive. We mark the beginning, we listen, mark the end and write the phrase. Titan's exclamation point. Now we are trying to find the next line. Look at you and your squalid prison! There it is, that's the phrase we were looking for. Look at you in your squalid prison, says Hades to the Titans. For the Titans, as they are screaming all the time, we will use capital letters, but in the case of Hades, we won't. We have another line, created, and follow the same procedure. As the lines for these sections are really close by, what we do is we copy the end time and we paste it on the beginning time. A slight modification of a few hundredths of a second will be enough for them not to overlap. Who put you down there? And it's Hades speaking again. We had marked the beginning, now we have the end, and we write the line. Who put you down there? Question mark. Next line. We play. Who put you down there? We listen. And now it's time to mark the end. Now we know already what the Titans say. They say Zeus. Before that, we close the subtitle on the right hand side and we write the text in capitals because they are screaming. And now we know that it's Hades time to speak again, but we have to create the subtitle line before we edit the text. We copy the ending time of the previous subtitle and we modify it a few hundredths of a second so that the new line doesn't overlap with the previous one. Now that I set you free. Here's another part with dialogue. But this one's very curious because at the end of the intervention, when Hades stops speaking, he launches a fire blast to free the Titans from their underwater shackles. Therefore, we have decided to reflect this as and now that I set you free, followed by the tag blast. And now that I set you free! Immediately after the blast, we continue with our subtitling process. We create a new line and listen to the soundtrack. What is the first thing? You are going to do! We have now become aware of the complete meaning of Hades' phrase. And now that I set you free, what's the next thing you're going to do? If you consider that this is a single unit of meaning, it shouldn't be with a capital at the beginning, so you can write the whole phrase divided in two parts, but the second part would not contain a capital letter. If necessary, we also adjust the time constraints at the beginning or at the end. What is the first thing you are going to do? And that will be the starting point of our next line. Destroy him. In consequence, this one has to be the right limit of the subtitle. In other words, the end of the subtitle. But what shall we write in this section? Remember that all of the titans are speaking at the same time, but no mouths can be seen. So that wouldn't be a problem. As long as it's synchronized, it's okay. However, all of them speak at the same time. And that should be included as an SDH tag. We write parentheses, all parentheses, and the same for the previous part, where they say Zeus simultaneously. Destroy him! Now anyone can see that they are all speaking at the same time. Good answer. Sometimes it may be difficult to determine where a line starts and where it ends, and the video player itself doesn't allow us to make very precise distinctions. However, we can always resort to modifying the times themselves and adjust any mistakes that we have made in previous steps. Something that you can do with different subtitling programs, for example EGISUB, is to follow the sound spectrum directly and to adjust the subtitle lines in a much more accurate way. Good answer. No problems here either with Hades' good answer. It's time to introduce another SDH tag. In this case, we will describe it as brass section, using parentheses and capital letters, as our convention indicates. We move on to the next line. The Titan with two heads is speaking, one head at a time, so no confusion is possible. We use capitalization to indicate that it's a scream, almost a howl. And that will be the beginning of our next line. This is the only time the second head speaks in isolation. We write Zeus, capital letters and exclamation point at the end. And here's another left limit for a new subtitle. Here, as in many parts of the SDH subtitling process, we have two options. We could leave it blank, or, if we feel that the time is enough, we could introduce an SDH tag. 
We have felt that the SDH tag stomp is very clear and informative. Therefore, it's necessary to describe the sounds sufficiently for somebody who can hear them or for somebody who has a severe hearing problem. We change from the stone titan to the ice titan and the intervention is a little bit longer because of the way it's pronounced. We have to locate the beginning, the end and then write the text. Freeze him, capital letters, because it's a titan. What to do with this part? There is no dialogue after all. Well, but we have to describe the sound. We have to introduce SDH tags. We will reflect it as blizzard. This one's the third and penultimate titan. First things first. We know it's a lava titan, but the shock between the lava mass and the mountain sounds very much like thunder. And that's what we'll write. This is a line of dialogue. On many occasions, what keeps a subtitle coherent is repetition of the same techniques. That's what we have been doing using capitalization for the titan screams. Melt sues. And finally, the air titan, the one that looks like a tornado. Again, because of the way it's pronounced, it lasts longer than usual. And that should be reflected in the subtitle length. Not too early, not too late. Just the right amount. After locating the beginning and the end, we write the text, blow him away. As we have watched the whole video beforehand, we know that something else is still to come. SDH subtitling guidelines indicate that a description is preferable to a reproduction of the sound. We will use a noun, bleat. And when describing, no gerunds, present simple or nouns. With this, the individual interventions by the Titans have come to an end. Now they will become a collective. Same as before, there is another choice to be made in this section, because as the Titans walk, or rather, stomp their way out of their cave, they see a couple of things which cannot be identified by the movement of anyone's lips. Then it's left to us to determine what's included in the lines and what isn't. We have written Sue's capital letters. That will be the beginning of another line, so we need a left marker for the subtitle. In spite of not being as clear as the first version of this same phrase, the Ice Titan continues to repeat the same sentence, but this time whispering very loudly. We add a tag, whispers, followed by the phrase, freeze him. And we prepare for the last non-SDH line. When we watched the whole video for the first time, we realized that Hades, after saying, mm, guys, received an answer from the Titans. We are not sure whether it's all of them, part of them, or only the ones who are closer to the camera. In any case, they grunt. This would be part of a hyphenated dialogue, where the first intervention would be a line, and the second one would be an SDH tag. To hyphenate a dialogue, two or more people should speak in the same subtitle line at the same time. The convention indicates that after the hyphen we leave a space Olympus would be that way and if the meaning is complete we add a stop at the end or an exclamation point or whatever the alternative might be. This fragment finishes with Hades' ironic remark at the end. And yet after Olympus would be that way the ice titan produces a sound which we have to describe and we have decided to put click as the SDH tag. When the final line is written, we have to close the right side of the subtitle to make it complete. Then, we have to check and double check, watching the video as many times as necessary, that the subtitles come and go as they should. Let's revise our final results before we save the changes. Brothers! Titan! Look at you in your squalid prison! <laughs> Who put you down there? You are going to do! Destroy him! Good answer.
Olympus would be that way. And there goes nothing. Well, it's pretty convincing, don't you think? Now we should clarify how to save our work. The moment you're satisfied with your work and you have reached the final version of your subtitles, you should click on the green button that looks like a diskette at the bottom of the page. When you do that, and if you have been asked to share your work with others, then write something that identifies it sufficiently. For example, Hercules, followed by your name and surname. If you rather export the text that you have edited in the form of a subtitle that is universal and can be recognized by any video player, for example VLC, then go to the option that says Export and write the name of the subtitle followed by .srt, the most universally recognizable subtitle format. If you have been practicing with a free subtitle editor like EGSub already, or if you are interested in learning more about subtitling, then you can save, open and transform this SRT subtitle file exactly as you wish. And with this final step, all the tasks which we had set ourselves are complete. I hope that this tutorial has been useful for everyone, and please feel free to leave a comment or doubt in the comment section. Thank you and goodbye.